as you can see, the title of the stream is called Why I Admire the Arab World. This is the title of the stream. And you can ask why, as a Jew, do you admire the Arab world? Or why, or how can you dare saying such a thing? You know, I'm going to tell you why. Because the Arabs, and you have religious Muslims, for instance, and also secular Muslims, or Muslims who don't care too much about Islam, Quran, whatever. But you know what? Even if they are secular, most Muslims entirely stick to their heritage. They don't mess around like Jews with Reform Judaism. There is no such thing like Reform Islam. There is Islam. There is a Quran. There is Islam. And this is how it should be in Judaism. There is Judaism and there is a Torah. And not like Reform and people as our uh, government at the moment, as our extreme leftist government trying to get rid of any kind of Judaism and introduce Reform Judaism, which isn't Judaism at all, which is, I don't know what it is, but it's not Judaism, it's not Torah. And Jews are always going for, you know, for modern things. Many Jews have this attitude, and they always had, even when they were walking through the desert, and when they, before they came to the land of Israel and everything, Jews always made a mess with idolatry. They were always attracted to go to, like, to be, they want to be like other nations. They don't want to stick to the Torah. I'm not talking about every Jew, but there are many Jews who don't care about Torah. They say, you know, why do I why do I need this? There is no God, or maybe there is a God, but Torah and all those rules and regulations, I don't want this. I don't want to keep kosher. I don't want to keep Shabbat. I don't want all this crap, so to speak. I want to be like other nations. And as soon as I'm going to be just like the other nations, so they will like me. They will accept me. So I'm, I don't behave Jewish anymore. I don't need all this. I don't need a God to tell me what to do, how to run my life. So if I behave like other nations, they will love me. There is no anti-Semitism towards me. Actually, this is not true. You, if you think this way, you're very much mistaken. And I had this experience in Germany, when I was living in Germany. You know, you can behave as other nations as much as you like but you know the other nations gentiles always see you as a jew it doesn't matter how secular you are you always be a jew to them they will never forget this so don't think by giving up your heritage your jewish identity you automatically gonna be one of the other nations you are not because to them, you're always a Jew. And when it comes to certain problems, to certain whatever matters in life, uh, situations in life, whatever, you're going to be the Jew. They always tell you, you Jew. Never forget this, especially not when you live in Germany. So don't be mistaken. But you know, at the moment, it's like our government, our extreme leftist government, wants to get rid of Orthodox Judaism because our prime minister is a reform Jew and paid off and getting money and, you know, whatever. Never mind. But what our government is trying to get rid of Torah Judaism. So we are having a so-called Jewish country that is trying to get rid of Torah Judaism. And I'm not only talking about, for instance, intermarriage here. Um, I put a link into this uh, video 
into the stream where you can see the latest article from the Jewish press that in Israel, and I think it's a huge disgrace for this country, that there are 100,000 Jews married to non-Jews. Mostly Israeli Jewish guys married to Gentile women. And they bring them in from abroad, they travel, they meet someone abroad, they schlep them into the country, and you know, and as you know, according to Halakha, the children coming out of these mixed marriages where the woman is a Gentile, where she's not Jewish, so the children won't be Jews anymore. And many Jews, many secular Jews, and not only people who grew up in secular kibbutzim, it's a lot today, they don't even have a Brit Mila anymore, and they reject like kosher food and everything, everything making them Jewish because it feels like Jewish identity doesn't mean anything to them. And they are ready to give up everything. They are ready to give up the Torah. They are, no one is asking them to lead like a from, from life or something. No. But just stick to your heritage. And Jews are always very fast when it comes to give up certain things and be modern as the nations today. Why can't we be like them and why have to why do we have to stick to this old stupid old fashioned rules from I don't know three, four, five, six, <laughs> ten thousand years ago, whatever. Why do we have to stick to this? Why can't we just be like everyone else? And Jews are secular Jews are ready to give up the country their identity anyway, their Jewish identity, they are willing to give up everything just in order to be like the other nations. And you know, I, I mean, this has always been the case. When you look into the Torah and everything Moshe, he had lots of problems with people doing whatever they wanted, rebellions and everything. But you know, when you look into the Arab world, into the Muslim world, even if they are secular or they don't care so much about Quran, but you know what, there are certain things Muslims keep. They always, or most of the time, they stick to their heritage. They don't mess around with Christian missionaries and going for them and having like reform, a reform movement and um, like uh, getting rid of the Quran or anything. The Quran is everything. And you don't change the rules. And Muslims are not willing to do this if they don't like it. So maybe they don't keep it or they eat on Ramadan or whatever. But they always, you know, they always stick to their heritage, to their Muslim or Islam or whatever heritage and they fight for it and they are not giving it up so easily or they are not willing to do this and this is why I admire the Arab world. Jews are always you know they've always been like um, you know there are other gods maybe we should pray to other gods maybe oh we should just do as the nations do and everything, oh, we don't need this Torah, let's have the reform movement, and, ah, uh, you know, who wants to keep all these rules, and why do I have to be Jewish, and there are even Jews hating themselves. You probably know this, especially from the United States, but we also have this here in Israel, and in Israel at the moment, it's like um, our government wants, really wants to get rid of Orthodox Judaism and turn everything into Reform Judaism, which isn't Judaism, it's whatever, it's something self-invented, but it has nothing to do with God and it has nothing to do with Torah. So this is my opinion and I really, you know, I'm really jealous because the Muslim world behaves in a very different way and they are proud of their inheritance, of their heritage. 
and Jews are like uh, many Jews see their uh, heritage, their Jewish identity as a burden and they just throw it away. They just give it up and they give it up very easily as you can see with intermarriage, especially when um, the woman, the wife is not Jewish. So the entire generation, the entire Jewish history of the Jew, of the male Jew marrying a non-Jewish woman, so he doesn't have a future because his children are not Jewish. And actually in Israel we have a problem here with these intermarried couples where the woman, the wife, is not Jewish because she raises her children with idolatry first of all, mostly Christian, and um, I've come across like Germans living in this country, German Gentile women with an Israeli uh, Jewish husband. And these women, not only the Germans, also American Gentile women living here, um, and they hate religious Jews. And they don't hide it, they tell you. People told me on social media, these women. They tell you, they show their hatred openly, and they raise their now non-Jewish children in the same way, also to hate religious Jews. They see everybody wearing a kippah, for instance, as an enemy. Because a religious Jew reminds them who they really are. And, you know, it's funny, you know, these, these um, Gentile women marrying uh, Israeli Jewish men, they're actually anti-Semitic because of the hatred towards religious Jews. So what you bring into the country is actually more anti-Semitism towards Torah Judaism. So I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Mashiach has to come, I don't know, to fix everything, so to speak. I don't know what to tell you. But when I look at the Arab world, and I have like um, my uh, neighborhood here in Jerusalem is half Arab, half Jewish. You know, Muslims really stick to their heritage, to their identity. Forget about terrorism or something, I'm not talking about this, but they really stick to their identity. And this is what I admire. Unfortunately, many Jews are very fast when it comes to the point to give up your own identity, to throw everything away. Even if you raise non-Jewish children when you uh, intermarry, you raise non-Jewish children and your own heritage basically is gone. You throw everything away. I find this really sad, but this is the way it is and uh, well, Mashiach has to come, hopefully soon. So thank you very much for listening and uh, you know you should really think about this matter and um, especially face Israeli reality and what is going on here at the moment.